everyone, Thijs here again and this time I want to give you a little bit of a more educational special video. We are having the Frozen Throne coming up. I want to give you a little bit of insight in what I think might be really important assets to understand the meta really well and get yourself ready for the expansion. This video is also in collaboration with Pro Guides. They are a site now with a lot of Hearthstone content where you can get great guides and great advices on how you can become a better player and great advice on how to get legend. And there is now a free trial around and I will definitely recommend to check it out. It will be here down in the description too where you can check out their site. Uh, once I became for the second time European champion, it was really in a period where there was a new expansion. Uh, there was just a new expansion, just two weeks, and I felt this is my season, this is my regionals, where I can become one of the three European champions again. But I came up with my own Tempo Warrior, I started to play Reno Lock, so I felt really going uh, uh, into a really big edge into the tournament, just because my decks felt, it felt just more adapted, more experienced, and I hope that uh, that is something that I can keep continuing with every expansion. Once an expansion comes out and I really try to make a deck together, first I just look at cards. A card has to be good. I always look first at the stats, that's step one for me. If a card is in 3 mana, 3-4, three, then the card is already alright. So if it has a little bit of a decent effect, then it has great potential. Secondly, cards also tend to be sometimes too slow. They might look really powerful, there might be a lot of value in the card. You cannot play all the great value cards. There are a lot of great cards that are at 7, 8, 9 mana. But even it has the best death rattle in the game, you really have to question yourself. Can I play a 7 mana card that has like a really great death rattle? I mean, you have to play it at turn 7 into a board, then there another board is coming and then your minion has to die. So I always look at what effect is it? Is the battle cry? Battle cries are really good because they are having a direct effect, it counters your opponent, it can be proactive and it can be reactive. If you look at death rattles, they can be proactive if you are ahead, but not if you are behind. So I always look a little bit what are the effects. All the effects that have direct impact on the board, they tend to fit a little bit better into consistency game plans. As a third step, I would say you have a deck of 30 cards. And these 30 cards, they should be more than just 30 good cards. They should have some synergy. They should have synergy with each other. Synergy as a similar game plan of a defensive game plan of an offensive game plan I think that's a little bit important in the later stages where a lot already comes together But it's always important to keep in mind that your deck normally tends to have an, a little bit of a strategy Only at step 4 I'm really looking also in the meta from well the meta is kind of aggressive, so you need to keep that in mind. Make some uh, tech decisions that are really good against aggressive decks. Are there some additional effects that we can use against aggressive decks? And does it still fit the playstyle? I would say the meta, yes it is there, but your deck has to do something to also challenge the meta itself already. And uh, then you can keep the meta in mind. Once an expansion comes out, aggressive decks tend to be a little bit more powerful. I'm in charge now. It has two different reasons. A control deck is normally more complicated. It takes a lot more time and a lot more deck building skills to really get your control deck really together to see the powerful combos. There have been so many control decks around that were just discovered at the third month of an expansion just because it's so hard to sometimes see some specific combos and the meta shifts a little bit and then control can finally find its place. Decks to make against aggressive decks is sometimes also a little bit more difficult where making decks against control decks is just a little bit easier by just making a more aggressive deck. So it always tends to a little bit more aggressive favor once the expansion hits and later in the expansion when the control deck really has his 30 card deck completed it tend to be really powerful
it is really difficult in a new expansion to in a one week period to see what is the power level of a deck you can sometimes build a pretty powerful deck but is it really like as good as a token shaman is it as good as an aggro druid and that's a question that is really way harder because these decks have thousands millions of sample size and now you have a sample size of 100 games and a little bit of a feeling that you might have to follow because the difference between adding one or two additional cards to words and deck that's not really that that is something that a lot of people are able to do getting really a new deck together starting from the bottom i think that's really a way different scale that you really learn towards a lot of experience in hearthstone in a new expansion there are always cards that fit current archetypes really well you have seen it a, a lot in the token based decks uh, it always was in a zoo a little bit it was a lot in the mid-range paladin decks that there were always specific cards that just fitted these cards well normally they are the class cards it really rarely happens that an, an shredder or a dr boom comes out that can really get into a lot of different decks uh, once a new expansion hit, I always try to be really open-minded uh, in towards the new expansion. There are a lot of new cards coming. There is going to be, especially from the start on, people going to try a lot of uh, different cards. So you have to still have the mindset of the old meta a little bit in mind and try to adapt with it towards the new cards. But also, of course, uh, creative deck building is definitely an important skill. So there you have a little bit of insight from me what you should know about the new expansion. I hope you are as ready and as excited for me. It's definitely the time to enjoy Hearthstone once a new expansion come out. So good luck with your games.